Welcome back, YouTube, to Randomly Trashed with your host, Commander Trasher. Now, today I'm going to be talking about sleeping. Obviously, it's 1.43 in the morning right now that I'm recording this, <clears throat> and I should be posting this up by about 2 a.m. Honestly, I can't sleep. A lot of people have said to me that, oh, you can't sleep because you force yourself to stay up. Or you drink coffee before you go to sleep. Or you drink coffee really late. Or, you know, you're just young and you have a lot of energy. Or, you know, it's just different things. But I feel like I have an actual sleeping disorder. That's how I feel. Because, honestly, I can sit there with the light off, laying down on my bed, n doing nothing. Just laying up, looking at the ceiling. And I could not fall asleep. Even if the light is off, I can close my eyes, I can count sheep, I can do all that. I just can't sleep. I don't know why. I mean, maybe when I was a kid, you know, I used to try to stay up because of different things. You know, like I was a kid, so I had a lot of energy and I just wanted to be up and do things. Playing video games, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. When I got to high school, um, I used to try to go to sleep because I had school in the morning and I would have to be up around maybe about 6:30, 7 o'clock you know and I would have to get ready and go to school try to be there by 8 maybe about 9 if you know if anything depending on the day or depending on you know what uh, time I had to start school most of the time it was either about 8:30, between 8 and 9 so it'll be 8 8:30, 9 o'clock it depends but a lot of times I had to be there by that time so in order for me to get there by that time, I had to be up at a certain time because, you know, I didn't live close to my school. I lived maybe about 45 minutes to, you know, a half an hour to 45 minutes on the bus going there or, you know, an hour, you know, uh, walking. So <clears throat> a lot of times, you know, I would have to go to sleep early and I would try to. And I remember a lot of times my mom would always tell me, oh, you know, you need to go to sleep early, blah, blah, you got school tomorrow, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't sleep. So the way I saw it was, what's the point in trying to just lay there and do nothing and wait till I fall asleep at 4 o'clock in the morning when I can just watch TV, play my video games and all that kind of stuff until that time? No matter what, by about 4 o'clock in the morning, most of the time, I fall asleep. Maybe 5, if anything. But a lot of times, that I just fall asleep around those times. Sometimes, you know, it goes a little later than that. Sometimes it's 6, sometimes it's 7. I've been up to, I've been up like 3 to 5 days straight before. I've done it before. Uh, maybe about a month ago, I did it. I think I was up for about 4 days straight. It was horrible. I hate when that happens to me. But a lot of people think, oh, you know, you're forcing yourself to stay awake. Yeah, for four days? Really? I'm forcing myself to stay awake for four days. You're crazy. If you really think that I'm doing that, you're crazy. Honestly. Because I am not doing that. I don't want to do that. So, honestly, you know, if you feel like you have a sleeping disorder, maybe you do. If you can't sleep and you actually feel like you can't sleep, Maybe you have a sleeping disorder. And really, to be honest, I know that some people have, you know, depression that doesn't help them sleep. Or if they don't eat, it doesn't, they can't sleep. Or if they don't do specific things, they can't actually sleep. When I was a kid, I guess in that sense, I had a lot of energy. But even when I was a kid, they tried to give me sleeping pills to, for me to fall asleep. And that still didn't work. Maybe, like I said, maybe I was just had a lot of energy or something. Maybe that's what it was. But regardless, it's been a, a long time since I, since I actually just, you know, go to sleep early and just sleep. A lot of times it's happened to me when I was working, you know, when I was actually doing like when I had a job and, you know, when I was doing stuff like that, I actually was falling asleep really fast. You know, I would just come home. I'll be dumb tired and I'll just pass out. Which is kind of good. Or if, you know, it depended on the, the, the times. 
But there was times where I would just fall asleep. But a lot of times, you know, it just didn't happen. And it sucked so much because I was so tired. And a lot of times I just wanted to go to sleep. And I would lay there and try to go to sleep. And it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't happen. And it would get me so upset. So, you know, I just want to talk, talk to you guys about that. And see if you guys feel the same way sometimes. That, you know, the doctors and, you know, like, uh, your parents and stuff like that. They're always telling you, you know, oh, you don't have no sleeping problem. All that kind of stuff. You just have a lot of energy. If you really want to go to sleep, you know, you would try. Like me. I've tried. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not going to sit there and tell you the same thing uh, like that your parents are telling you or that the doctors are telling you. I will tell you this. You may have a sleeping problem, just like I do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel. And hopefully you're not up watching it at this time right now. Because if you are watching it at this time then <laughs> yep you probably have a sleeping disorder or you just not really that tired at the moment I'll catch you next time on randomly trashed